morning friends and family chapel joe here i'm going to go right to it uh matthew 6 24. no one can serve two masters either you will hate the one and love the other or you will devote it to the one and despise the other you cannot serve both god and money <laughs> i just want to stay with the theme that uh church leaders pastors uh, elders, CFOs, CEOs, whoever you are in the church, if you're a church leader in a position of leadership, um, I have something I need to get off my chest and I have to be very, very careful in what I share because I don't want to point fingers and point anyone out and be specific. So I'm going to be vague in what I'm saying, but I, I need to say it. It needs to be said. Yesterday, I put something up, a quote by a very famous man by the name of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And, and the quote is, silence in the face of evil. God will not hold us guiltless. Not to speak is to speak, and not to act is to act. So basically what he's saying is, when you don't say anything, you're still saying something. You're, you're turning a blind eye. Uh, same thing with not to act, not to do something about it. If you just walk away and ignore it, then guess what? You're guilty of it. Guilty of it. And that's what he means by God will not hold us guiltless. He will be hold us accountable for all of our actions. Okay, so with all of that said and all of that out of the way, I know we've been talking about churches. I didn't get any response yesterday, which is fine. People are afraid to speak. I get it. People are afraid of their church leadership, which is something that shouldn't be. But Or I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree, but I highly doubt I'm barking up the wrong tree. Uh, a brother of mine came to me yesterday and just confirmed a lot of what I've been saying. But here's a particular situation with a particular church I'm not going to get. Like I said, I've been in a lot of churches. So those who know me will probably be able to figure it out. Those who don't, it's still important to hear what I have to say. A uh, particular church that I attended for a very long time um, well, was uh, double dipping, was, which means like uh, twice a month they were taking an extra collection for a specific purpose. And uh, they did this for quite some years, for quite a, quite a few years. And um, what they were, their goal was was actually paid for. And uh, now that they have all of that income, the goal is not spoken about anymore and there is no forward motion in regards to that goal and that goal was for the community and um i'm just curious as to know what happened you know what where did all of that go what happened you know and that's what i mean by you know the scripture where it says matthew 6 24 you can't serve two masters now um did that massive amount sway someone's heart and uh you get them going in the wrong direction, do the wrong thing. Um, you know, a brother of mine yesterday shared that uh, a, a particular uh, pastor that he knew uh, collected, uh, received a large, the church received a large gift. And, uh, you know, the pastor decided, okay, I'm going to take that large gift and I'm going to hold on to it till you know, for whatever reason. And and uh, the, the, the church floor is falling apart. The roof leaks. Uh, they, the, uh, the air conditioner is broken. I mean, these kinds of things is, is what I'm talking about, you know, and, and that's important. A lot, of, I believe a lot of these larger churches are, you know, I, I I don't, I wouldn't know what it was like to be like, to be collect large amounts of money. I'm sure I probably would be tempted just like they are, you know, and uh, I, I guess the message today is, you know, money can, 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 can you lead you astray. And I guess I bring this up because I hope that, you know, the... The first situation that I talked about, that, that uh, you know, they they recognize me, and, and they know I'm talking about them, and that, uh, you know, something needs to be said about it, because if I keep quiet about it, then, then, then I'm guilty of it. And, and I'm sure that there are others questioning, like, hey, you, what's going on, man, you know? But I think a lot of people are afraid to speak up and, and afraid to, to go, you know, to, to approach, because that impression is not given there okay that impression is not given there that there's that it's a friendly environment and you know the, the appointment book stuff like that you know and 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 up here down here you know and uh that, that, that's 
that's that. I mean, like I said, I can't, I, I don't want to be guilty of slander. I don't want to cause division. I don't want to, you know, point fingers. I don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. I'm sure, you know, I, if, if someone recognizes me, they'll know I'm talking about that specific situation. You know what? The church needs to know. The church has a right to know. And, you know, hopefully that I'm, I'm wrong and I'm crazy and I'm barking up the wrong tree and, and that, you know, the right thing is being done, but it's been a very, 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 very long time and there's no mention anymore. There's no mention anymore. So, you know, what happened and why, and there were some things there, but they were settled. So, you know, the, the, the congregation has to know, and, and, and I'm not going to be silent about it. I'm not going to, you know, do what I've always done back in the old days and, and, and wreak havoc, but uh, bringing it up, I hope and pray that that particular someone sees this and realizes, hey, that, you know, I need to do something and uh, be encouraged today and d don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of God, especially in the church's leadership. Don't lose sight of God. Don't, don't, don't you, you can't serve money, serve God. You can't do it. If money's more important than the people, than the church, then there's something seriously, seriously wrong. And you need to take your heart. You need to go to the altar. You need to, to do a self-examination and do some confession. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So, you know, uh, I just heard too, Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar uh, just made a turnaround uh, in regards to tithing and stuff like that. You know, you got to give 10% of your salary. That's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. So that is some, that's a whole different message. But be encouraged today. Know that God loves you all very, very much. And please stay focused on God's mission, not your mission. Not your mission to get rich. <laughs> God bless you all. Talk to you soon.